Who the hell names a dog a lassa poo? We don't even know if we're pronouncing it right. All we know is that even staring at that word gives us a huge headache. Anyways, these dogs are apparently popular or something. Families are buying them up left and right. What makes them so unique aside from their utterly idiotic names? Here are 10 crazy facts about the Lhasa Poo. <coughs> the Lhasa Poo is a cross between a Lhasa Apso and a Poodle. Apparently, when breeders were trying to think of the next amazing breed of dog to create, they chose to cross two of the most pussy dogs imaginable. A Lhasa Apso, which is Latin for midget bitch, and a Poodle, which is French for curly-haired asshole. Okay, we made up the languages, but come on, they were definitely believable. The Lhasa Apso is a posh-looking dog from Tibet, and is of a very odd and ancient pedigree. They were actually guard dogs, even though they were small as shit. Their barks were loud and piercing, alerting people to danger. Poodles, on the other hand, are, well, they're just terrible. They look like European powdered wigs with legs and tails that piss on the carpet. Breeders never know what the dog's coat will be like. Have you ever eaten one of those pieces of candy that are supposed to be mystery flavor? They are some sort of white color with no defined flavor. They may taste amazing, or they may taste like chewy sugar-covered turds. It's a risk we take when we buy the mystery flavor. In the dog world and for breeders, the Lhasa Poo is the mystery flavor. The two breeds from which this dog is created have very different coats. There's the curly poodle or the long flowing Lhasa Apso. Breeders will not know what type of coat the dogs will have until they are actually born. They won't know the color or the sort of hair they'll have. Maybe it will come out looking amazing, but maybe it will look totally stupid. Breeders also can't control the personality of the dogs. Damn, the more we talk about this, the more we're slowly realizing that maybe the breeders are actually shitty at their jobs. They are probably like the people who got participation trophies when they weren't chosen for the team. But this fact is true. Usually, breeders are able to control exactly what personality traits a dog will have. Not for these dogs, though. Lhasa Poo puppies will have whatever type of personality they want. Lhasa Apso and Poodles share quite different personality traits. So different, in fact, that these traits are unable to be split when the breeding goes on. Will it be more Poodle than Lhasa, or will it be the other way around? There's no telling. They make great companions. Okay, we're getting a little sick of this well-known fact. A dog makes a great companion? Really? No shit. Who the hell is looking for a dog that makes a lousy companion? That's like looking for a spouse who sucks at relationships. Well, now that I say it out loud, there are some self-loathing assholes out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Anyways, for companionship, get yourself a Lhasa Poo. Lhasa Poos are actually very inexpensive. This fact reminds me of that time I went to see this person named Coco. We had a great five minutes together and it only cost me 10 bucks. It may have only been one time, but I know what love is. It still itches every time I think about it. But anyways, he was a real gentleman. Speaking of great ways to find love for very cheap, you should get a Lhasa Poo. Because of how pretty and nice they tend to be, many of these dogs are bred through disreputable and irresponsible breeders that run puppy mills. Of course, these operations are illegal, so when the police bust them, the puppies are taken to shelters where they can then be adopted. Of course, we know what you're probably thinking, well, no shit, this is the way it normally works. It actually happens more with Lhasa Poos than you may realize. They are one of the most common dogs found in shelters, aside from various mixed breeds. They do best with older kids. Lhasa Poos are so small, they can easily be mistaken for stuffed animals, easy to squeeze and snuggle with. When little kids get a hold of these small dogs, there's a good chance they could hug the animal too tightly, pet them too hard, or even try to ride them because little kids are f***ing stupid. Wait a minute! Who are you? I'm gay. No one really wants any of these things to happen. So if you buy one of these dogs, be sure your kids are a little more grown up. These small dogs weigh an average of 10 to 20 pounds, and that's after they've reached full maturity. When they're puppies, they weigh much less. On top of that, they really don't like being mistreated. They do have a bit of a trigger when it comes to being pissed off and they could snap at a moment's notice. True, it usually won't harm an adult, but a four-year-old could catch a bite on his stupid little face. Lhasa Poos, don't shut the fuck up. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. I know we've dropped more F-bombs in this video than any of our previous ones, but trust us, they're warranted, especially considering this fact. One personality trait of the Lhasa Apso is its guardian nature. But remember, they're very small. What can they do, attack? We call bullshit on that one. The only thing they're able to do is to bark, and bark, and bark some more, little bitches. <laughs>
On one hand, this means that they make great watchdogs. When someone comes in the house that it doesn't recognize, you will know it immediately. However, when you're trying to relax and enjoy a quiet Sunday afternoon, this can become the biggest annoyance in the history of all big annoyances. Lhasa Poos may be cute, but they're insanely smart. Usually, when you look at a dog like a Lhasa Poo, the first thing you think is, what a prim and proper dog. It's almost like you're looking at some valley high girl and assuming she's some ditzy blonde. But don't get too ahead of yourself. A Lhasa Poo is less like a dumb blonde and more like a brilliant hot chick that will outwit you at every turn. These dogs are very bright, and that makes them easy to train. Of course, as with any breed, it is best to start them on some sort of training regimen when they're still young. But if you want them to obey you, you'll need to make sure you rely on positive reinforcement as opposed to negative reactions. Lhasa Poos do not tolerate mistreatment or outbursts such as spanking or scolding. This will make them vindictive towards their owners, causing them to do things out of spite. These dogs can have some crazy health problems. Pet health insurance can be expensive as shit. Most people barely have enough time to walk their dogs properly, much less pay a couple of hundred dollars per month in case something crazy happens to them. Well, as far as Lhasa Poos are concerned, it may not be such a bad idea to keep some insurance on them. They have a huge list of health problems that they are incredibly prone to. Lhasa Poos get Addison's disease, stomach dilation, hip dysplasia, or patella luxation. It's almost like these dogs need to be in some sort of canine nursing home or some shit. Some of these problems can even manifest at birth, making puppies seem like elderly individuals being burdens on their families and stuff. All we're saying is that you should be ready to cough up some money to keep these little bastards healthy. Lhasa Poos can adopt their owner's lifestyle pretty easily. Okay, we felt as if we should end this video on a pretty awesome fact. One reason that these dogs are so popular is because they fit many various lifestyles of their owners. Are you into fitness? They're happy to go on a jog with you. Are you a lazy piece of shit living with your grandmother? Well, they can sit around and be lazy pieces of shit with you. Along with this, because of their intellect, they are very good about obeying orders and learning tricks. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get them housebroken pretty quickly. What's not to like about these things? They pretty much make great dogs for anyone. Did you enjoy our picks? What are some things you like about Lhasa Poos? Let us know in the comments below. Also, for more great information on dogs, check out some of our previous videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.